Hello there guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to make half face text portrait in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into extracting our subject from its background using a rectangular marketing tool, applying text, creating clipping mask, and with the use of the blending options. So let's get started. So here in our document, I got here an image of famous basketball player. And our goal here is to make half face text portrait. So the very first step we're gonna do here is we're going to crap the image of our canvas because this one is too big for it. All I have to do is to go to the toolbar and find the crop tool. So it's here on the fifth tool or C for the shortcut key, click on that. Now, we may now start adjusting the size of it. So I'm going to increase the size, something like this, and also to the other side. And also here at the bottom, create something like this. And then after that, don't forget to tick on top or press enter. And there you have it. Now let me zoom this one in, go to the zoom tool, press C, and for the options, set that to fit screen. Okay. Now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to select the subject. So to do that, going on to the layers panel, select on the background layer, go to the menu bar, find select, and then under select, choose subject. Now once we already have the selection on our subject, now I'm going to press Ctrl plus J for it to create a new layer of our selection. And there you have it. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Now going back, so for now I'm going to hide our background layer for us to see the before and after later on. Okay, now we're going to split this image into half. So selected on the layer, yes, our subject layer, I'm going to go to the toolbar and find the rectangular market tool so where to find that it's on the second tool first second right click on that and you're gonna see the rectangular market tool that have this shape symbol so click on that now let's split the half of our subject's face with this selection all right so i'm gonna split this one into half all right i'm good with this so now with that selection i'm going to press Control plus j for it to create a new layer of our half face okay so i'm going to name this one as the right right side all right and then after that i'm going to press Control and click on the thumbnail of the right side layer okay now there you have it we already have our selection right and then i'm going to click on the layer one yes our subject here and then i'm gonna make this one visible like this with that selection and that layer selected, I'm going to press backspace. Now, look what happens. If I'm gonna hide the right side layer, so it turns that the other half remains, see? Now we already split our subject into two layers. Now the next step here is we're going to add a background on our layer, but first we have to deselect this one. Press Control plus T for the deselect. All right, so to with a background, all I have to do is to Go to the lowest layer first for us to get a color picker from his jersey for that color. So I'm going to click on the adjustment layer at the bottom here. Click on this and then choose solid color. And then for the color picker, I'm going to get a color from his jersey, this yellow one here. All right, there you go. And then press OK. And there you go. Now we already have his background. Now the next step, I'm going to click on this layer here. Okay, so for, for us not to be confused, let's rename this one. Double click on that. And rename it let's say left side okay there you go now the next step we're gonna do here is we're going to apply the text layer so to do that first I'm going to select on the right side layer for that the text layer will be applied on top of it okay go on to the toolbar and find the T symbol all right this one so that's the text tool or T for the shortcut key and then once you already select that select it now click it on our canvas. All right, so let's say, let's give a sentence. So I'm going to write, I'm going to put it here, for example, I'm going to say winners with a dash and then 
face. Winners never quit. Okay, there you go. I'm good with this. And then for the font, I'm I'm okay with this. And then for the color, just click on the color. And then let's get a sample color on his jersey again. All right, this maroon color. And then select. Okay. And then after that, let's make this text bigger. With the layer selected, I'm going to press control and hold it. Once I hold it, you can see there's a transformation command out. And then I'm going to drag this one in. Okay. So to make it perfect, I'm going to hide first the left side layer. Okay. And then, and then click on that layer. Press control plus T for the transformation command. Okay. And I'm going to make this one fit. And then I want some spacing on that. So I'm going to double click on the thumbnail of the text layer, right? And then go here, click this arrow. Right, so let's say I'm going to set this one to around 77. All right. So once all said and done, click on somewhere. All right. So there you have it. Now let's bring back the left side layer. So click on this. Now the next step here is I'm going to click and drag this text layer at the bottom of the right side layer. There you go. And select it on this right side layer. I'm going to right click on it and then find create clipping mask. Now there you have it. Now that looks better now, isn't it? Okay, but if there are something to fix on, okay, yes, we can do that. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to compress this one because I'm not comfortable with this. So double click on the thumbnail of our text layer again and then go here. And set this one to negative 50. All right, there you have it. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to apply a drop shadow on this text. So, to do that, I'll select it on the text layer, right click on it, and find the blending options. All right, and then I'm going to click on the drop shadow. So, once I click that, I'm also going to set, change the options of it. Just click on the drop shadow layer there. And then for the op, for the distance, let's see which one is better. I'm going to set this one to 5 pixels. What about for the spread? 10 is okay. Then for opacity, 75, and then select. Okay. All right. Now, there we go. Now, we already have this kind of effect. Now, let me show you the before and after. So, this one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to make half-face text portrait in Photoshop.